Today's Jaguar is a Series 1 E-Type Roadster. We've known it for quite some time. It is an older restoration that has stood the test of time. It's been serviced regardless of use, and we're going to take it for a ride. It's got subtle bespoke modification as well. A five-speed gearbox, which makes all the difference in the world. All right, see you on the road. All righty, let's uh, get our cold start. As you can see, everything is pretty cold. The oil pressure is coming up as it does. And let's get on the road. We're also thinking of offering these uh, Autosport Designs ski caps, which are keeping my uh, ears nice and warm. Just to show you, the radio does work and we didn't even put the antenna up. We were going to hook up the, our phone to a USB cable and play God Save the Queen. May she rest in peace. She was a good old gal. And soon it'll be God Save the King. Old Charlie. I like Charlie. So... We're going to lower the choke a little bit, continue to warm her up. I think uh, we discussed the fact that it has a five-speed installed, which makes all the difference in the world on driving an E-Type, in my opinion. It is cold today. I'm going to go over the railroad tracks and see how it feels. Very nice, tight for an E-Type. Not the norm on every E-Type, by the way. This car has led a charmed life. It's almost warm. Okay, well, as you can see, it is chilly. And uh, she's still not completely warm and happy, but we're gonna lower the choke so that you could ride along with us until the moment arises where it is at perfect temperatures for us to drive it at operating temperatures. Let's just stop right here. She's not ready yet. She'll be there soon. And of course, that's what the choke's there for. Well, I think she's all right now. We're gonna take her down the twisties a little bit. We'll say E-types are absolutely wonderful when they're dialed in and sorted properly. They're a whole lot of fun. And um, of course, extremely sexy as well. Kind of weird for that era Englishman. Now you expect some big burly, it should be like, an Englishman's more of like an XK150 or a Mark II. This one took a left at Albuquerque and had a little bit of Italian in it somehow. So, anyway, whatever the case, uh, what you see is what you get, and they did really, really well. The early cars, which have the aluminum uh, fascia, I like uh, more than the later cars. 
although it's very, very hard to find one where this has not been dented or destroyed. So this one's quite nice. Hope you enjoyed the flybys. I think she looks pretty nice in uh, sleek black. This particular E-Type has been well known to us. As you can see, it cruises, tracks, brakes, temperatures. It's all exceptional, well serviced. And now we're going to take you on the FFR road and um, we're going to show you how she cruises, how fifth gear is absolutely superb for long distance cruising and touring. Well, here we are on the farm road going up through the gears, second, third, fourth, fifth. Fifth is certainly like an overdrive, and we're doing 75, and she's pulling 2,400 RPM. So we're going to slow down a little bit. We're going to put her into second gear and show you her acceleration. So, she is no slouch. We forgot to give it one of those tele -who! But, whatever the case, she's a really good one. And, um, hope you enjoyed the road test. You know where to find us, should you have any questions. See ya.